So the guys at Oztent came to me and they said, hey, Mad Matt, we've made a new swag. It's the RS1 and we want you to have one. And I said to them, well, if you give me a swag, I'll give you a review and tell you what I really think about it. Well, there it is. Look, it's not a bad piece of kit, but there are a couple of things that I go, hmm, maybe you could have thought about that a bit more. So I'll let you know what they are as we go through the review. But overall, it's got some really innovative and clever ideas in there that I actually really do like. So there's clever things like, we'll just start with simple things here. At the front, they've got this little zip for your power leads. If you wanted to run a lead in there to charge your phone overnight or something like that, nice and, nice and easy and convenient. And at the front here, We've got these great little air vents, one on each side, so that all those hot gases can waft out the top, because hot air rises. See, so it can waft out through there. That's pretty good. It's got another cool feature at the front here, but I'm gonna show you that later on. Okay, now, let's whiz around the back, because there's a couple of things there I want to show you. So, something that's important to me whenever I'm looking at my camping gear is I love to have airflow because there's lots of gases. So we have a bit of airflow at the back here because we've got this window that basically runs the full length of the swag. At this end, we've got these two zips. This first one, when you guy rope it out, it gives you a nice big opening in under here to allow the air to get up into the swag, but it's still protected. And then if you want to, you zip this one down and it closes it up a bit more. There's still airflow, just not as much. And then we can actually Velcro it down and seal this whole window up completely. And really that's just gonna be great if it's really cold and you know, condensation's not an issue or whatever. But unzip them and we can just roll the window up if we really want that ventilation. And this plastic strip in here that just makes that rolling up thing real easy. Now you've got three of these clips along the swag to hold the window up, easy to use, like that. And that there now just opens up this whole window so we can get plenty of airflow. You know, in the tropics, that's on a beautiful starry night, that's just gonna be fantastic. This is another great idea they've got. All their guy ropes are in these little pockets on the side here. See that? So it's hooked up, ready to go, peg it out, job done. And then when you're packing up the next day, you put it in the pocket so you're not rummaging around in a bag looking for guy ropes. There's four of them, one on each corner. That's a really nice idea. Now, each corner, as you'd expect, has got peg loops. You can peg them out here and here. You've got straps at the back so you can really peg this out good and proper. And they've used real pegs. They're not make-believe pretend things, like when you hit that into the ground, it's gonna go into the ground good and proper. Now this ground's not too hard, but hey, here's a quick little tip for you. If you've got a peg in the ground and it's a bit hard to get out, rather than trying to use your finger, grab another peg, hook it on, pull them out, easy as that. Right, now let's have a look at this innovation they've got here. It's the awning. These swags actually have their own built-in awning. So it can come out the front or it come out the back. Now let's look at the back first. Notice the silver bit of it. Sun reflection. So if you're like me and you like your nana nap, you know, and it's a bit warm on that day, you just flick this over the back, guy rope off the back there. Here you go, you've got your extra guy ropes. Guy rope off the back and that's gonna reflect the heat. It's gonna keep it nice and cool inside the swag where you are. Out like a light. How good's that? But Overnight, might be a bit drizzly. You bring the awning out the front here. Again, you got your guy rope, nice and easy. These poles are height adjustable. Okay, set that out. You got this little area out front here. You can put your boots, your bags, whatever. It's gonna stay dry for you. So it's a two-in-one awning. I don't mind that idea because one of the things my pet hates in swags is when you're in there, and you've got to get up for the midnight piddle, and you come out here and you're getting wet and all that. Don't enjoy it. Kind of solves that problem. Right, let's have a look at the front end here. They've got some other great ideas. 
Hang on, I'm sort of in your way, aren't I? Get back here a bit. So you've got a separate fly on its own zip system. All right, nice and easy there. Oh, I'll undo that side. Okay, I'll stop kicking the pegs for you too. So that comes down, that comes down. Now, while I'm outside, let me show you this little flap here. So when the zips are all closed up, this little flap Velcro's up there, so it's absolutely sealed up. Isn't that clever? That's kind of thinking about things. So, not a bad little idea. So you've got the fly there, so you can again you can keep that airflow going through. You've got the awning out. You've got the airflow from those from that. You've also got your main doors, which come across here. And oh, we've got to unlock that again. There you go. All right, these rain flaps, if you're not using the awning, these flaps here are gonna keep the moisture off that zip. Now, all of this material is actually pretty fire resistant. So if sparks from a campfire or whatever come over onto the material, it's gonna be okay, you know, for the best part. Look, it's not fireproof. I don't think they're saying that, but they're saying it's certainly gonna resist, I think, the odd spark or something of that nature. So that's a good thing. And obviously it's waterproof. Geez, you'd be failing if it wasn't waterproof. So they've got that pretty well sorted out. Okay, let's show you the actual setup and pack down and, and so on. Now, just, uh, just inside here, the mattress that comes with the swag currently, I think they've missed the mark. That's two and a half centimetres apparently, so 25 millimetres. It's thin. I think your hips are gonna be sore. So if you're buying this swag, they do do a really nice mattress for um, as a separate item. I'd consider that. I think that'd be a pretty good way to go. It's like a self-inflating job. So, but realistically, this is a bit light on. So I hope they're going to actually upgrade that because that to me is probably the biggest thing. Let's face it, you're buying a swag to sleep in it. You want a good night's sleep. You want to be comfortable. I don't think that's going to cut it. But to be honest and fair to them, I haven't actually spent the night in one of these swags yet, but I will, don't you worry. Okay, so when we go inside the swag, you'll have to grab the camera and come on down and have a look inside. So what we've got is these, these are the key to it, which are the same design as they've used in their famous tents, which are their quick setup tents. This swag is essentially designed like that, folds up real quick and easy. Right. Let's show you how it packs up, and then I'll show you how it sets up. And because I'm mad mad, I'm gonna do those two things backwards. First thing you do, where's the mattress out? Reach in, drop the two end brackets. Down they go. We'll just pull the awning over like that. Grab your end pieces, fold them in, fold them in. All right, then, You've got this strap. Click that in there. All right, that just holds that nice. Grab the bag. All right, how can I do this for you nice and easy? Put the bag out there like that. Now this mattress is designed to fit into the bag like this. And you actually got these straps click it in place, isn't that nice? Hey, you've actually got these straps, clicks in there. Where's the other one? There it is. Clicks in there. Then, grab the swag, drop that in there, grab the bag, and the ground sheet and all the rest of it. All right, zip it up, chuck your poles and all the rest of it in. Job done. All right, so that's all zipped up. Let's set it back up again. All right, unzip the bag. Roll it out flat like that. Now I reckon just grab that, set that aside for a second. Grab the mattress out. Chuck the bag over here. Chuck the mattress up over there. Grab the swag, 
Gotta make sure I put it around the right way. Undo that strap, put that with the bag so I don't lose it. Flip that out. Now, the actual setup moment, you do it from the front. Just grab the top frame, lift that forward, and it folds up like that. Reach inside, put that end up, and put that end up. Throw your mattress in. It's job done. So what do I reckon? I think there's two things that I'd like to see improved. One is that mattress is pretty thin. And uh, really, it's not gonna give you a great night's sleep in my opinion. But it's easy fixed. They do do self-inflating mattresses. You can put a, another mattress in yourself. I reckon they really should upgrade it, get a decent mattress to come with the unit myself. Maybe they can't fit it in, I'm not sure. The other thing I see is once that bag is packed up and all that, it's pretty much gonna to have to go on your roof rack. I can't get it inside my 80 series with a cargo cage. Can't go across the back seat or anything. So that always has to travel on my roof rack. That may or not, may not be an issue for you. You decide. But overall, is this a good swag? My word, it's a pretty good swag. Is it gonna keep you dry? Yep. Gonna keep you warm? Is it easy to use? Yeah, gets a tick. I just set it up there. And it's got options, features. I quite like that. That awning is a big fan. I'm a big fan of that. Being able to be undercover here, having the sun, the sunshade, great idea. So have a think about it, check it out. I hope this video has really helped you understand what the features of this RS1 are and help you to decide whether you, this is gonna be the swag for you. It's certainly gonna last you a lot of years if you buy it. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails.